What's going on, brews? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hottest Cards of the Week, the weekly series where every single Friday night we review the hottest Pokemon cards of the week, as well as recap last week's hottest cards and see what they're doing. Hey, uh, you guys pulled Pikachu SIR yet? No. What about Latias? No. What about... I pulled Gold Pika! Uh, okay, so before we begin, uh, we're not gonna talk about, uh, the spiral out of control that is my financial situation as it relates to uh, Surging Sparks. We're gonna ignore that. Uh, but uh, I have a product to pump because I need to make money to um, alleviate all the money I've lost uh, chasing this damn... I don't even want the Pikachu, I just want the Latias. I, I said, look, you'll stop once you pull Pikachu or Latias. Either one. <laughs> okay, so yeah, uh, there's a product I need to uh, push it's one of my favorite YouTubers. He's a Pokemon YouTuber. You may recognize him and may recognize his product. So I'm gonna, we're going to pump that here in a sec. And also as part of that, we're going to do a Derpy Q giveaway. So uh, I'll be right back in a sec. Folks! My favorite Welcome guy back. right here. Today we're gonna Isn't he our favorite? Fighting the Cabal. I can wait till tomorrow. <laughs> the Cabal, we're this guy in the waifu. Cabal. Waifu. Jesus! Today. Where? We don't need him for this one. Dude, Appreciate Alex, Alex, give me a sec. Rock! Where did Rock? What? Why are? What did I tell you about being up on the table, Rock? You're dirty down there. Waifu. Would you wait? What? You want me to tell him about your new Card Prison 2.0 binder? Waifu. Those? Oh, I mean, will you get off the table if I do? Waifu. Okay. All right. Well, guys, look, just real quick, for the measly price of thirty-four ninety-nine, you can have. The most sleek, the most sexy, the most... Is that a... Oh, that's embarrassing. I don't know how a Vaporeon got in here. Um, but yeah, you'll notice these are top-loaded. Top-loaded, guys. Top-loaded, and then guess what's in the middle? Uh, oh, oh, God, is that white? Oh, 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 God. Oh, okay. Um, regular, top-loaded. But guess what? New and improved for 2.0. Look at this beautiful, be oh wow, card. Pr Ooh, look at that. Guys, right now, till the end of the year, every single person, and I do mean every single person that goes to cardprison.com, first of all, for this video, go ahead and uh, leave Derpy Q in the comment section if you would like to win. The one of one. Does that look like a turkey? I, I, I thought a spathra looked a lot like a turkey. So, uh, yeah, that was that was the closest thing I can get for a Thanksgiving Derpy Q for you guys. You want to win that, go ahead and uh, leave Derpy Q in the comments. But, guys, anybody who goes to cardprison.com from now to the end of the year and orders a card prison binder, either the regular white or the limited quantity of 100 print one black binder. That's right, he made a black one, too. If you order a card prison binder and you just send a screenshot to my Instagram I will send you your own custom Derpy Q. That's right, guys. We need to sell these because these need to be sold because this is quality at its finest. Oh, my God. Card Prison. Rock Sandy, guys. Use code BREW10 at checkout. Once again, thank you very much to Rock Sandy, the... Uh owner ceo and brainchild of uh, card prison binder it truly is a great binder um uh, the giveaway rules by the way u.s sorry u.s and canada only domestic uh for shipping purposes and it must have an ebay account i do all my giveaways via ebay so every giveaway has tracking associated with it so uh yeah once again anybody who orders a card prison binder use code brew10 you get a free derpy cube from yes truly all right let's get into the hottest cards of the week we got a lot of hot cards including some surging sparks chase cards that are uh you know not not crashing not at all so we're gonna cover these uh surging sparks cards right now and then we'll get into uh, a few other sirs but guys there is some massive price tags being established on cards that were worth half as much two weeks ago and uh so right now before i oh wait you can see it i was gonna ask you to guess how much laddie s is laddie s has shot all the way up guys to 263 dollars the card that was flirting with 200 for the last couple weeks is now 263 dollars 
and you know almost 10 average daily sold so it's getting bought quite a lot for a 260 dollars card um this is my chase card from surging splurging sparks pardon me splurging sparks laddy ass ex is, is a 260 dollars this would have been just a few weeks ago the second most valuable card right behind greninja already and of course obviously we have pikachu now uh melodic so here's another surging sparks car that just shot up quite a bit in the last couple days melodic ex is 127 dollars this card also flirted just around 80 83 81 80 86 87 and then boom 120 it didn't even stop at 100 it went right past 100 all the way up to 127 dollars for melodic still haven't pulled this card either oh one that i did pull think if I, ha if I didn't pull at least this card, it, the last three weeks would just have been the biggest fail of my life. All right, so the greatest, the hyper rare of a generation. That's how I refer to this. This is the Jason Page of hyper rares. This truly is the hyper rare of a generation. Look how loud it is too, just like Jason Page. All right, so it's 117. It got as low as 96. And then it said, see ya, and went right back up to almost its already first week all-time high of $127. But it said $117. And I knew it. when it, it, was, what, it was a week ago I said, guys, if anyone who paid over $100 for this card, if you're worried if, that it's under $100, just don't. This is legitimately the hyper rare of a generation. I said that. I, I did say that. I straight up, I did. Mew, bubble Mew. Okay, so I'm probably going to put Latias, and I'm probably going to put Mew on the thumbnail because Latias is $260 and Mew is $260. What happened? Bubble Mew, we already talked about it. It was floating in, in, in like the stratosphere and then it, last week, outer space. Now it's in another galaxy. This card, let's zoom out. Can we zoom out here? Ah, even more, let's zoom out. We saw a little dinky all-time pop high right off the bat at 130 and then drops all the way down to $75. And then it creeped up to 90 bucks and it was this 88, 89, 90, 92, 93. And then boom! $260, guys. 260. These all this talk people used to theorize, people used to contemplate, people used to think about I wonder if Scarlet and Violet SIRs will ever be worth as much as Sword and Shield Alt Arts. I wonder. I wonder if they will. Oh, they're so much easier to pull. They'll never be worth worth what Rayquaza or Blaziken or the Chilling Rain Moltres. They'll never. Oh, we are so far beyond that. We are. We flew past that check. We flew past that. Okay, like. We got $460 Pika. Now we got a $260 Latias. We got a $330 Greninja. We got a, a $200 Sunzard. We're about to have a uh, Solbreon that's worth $18,000, I think, probably. Who knows? Oh, go back. Take your time. Uh, the, last, the last SIR for today until we get into some IRs and promos and then some playable cards you can probably make, make a quick buck on as long as they stay super playable all right so tinkaton it's not a big deal but it's 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 something so tinkaton's up to 1766 is 18 percent on the one month chart if you look at the six month that's six month high if you look at the one year that is actually a one year high it kept bouncing and flirting and going back between 14 to 16 but it just finally after a year of doing that cracked over 17 and it's at almost 18 dollars so i just figured i'd let that be known that tinkaton is essentially at an all-time high i think tinkaton was 18 19 dollars right at release but then it fell under and it was like 15 bucks forever magikarp building on its ever so let's see three weeks ago was at all-time high two weeks ago more 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 now it's even more at all-time high it's new all-time high is right here and now 173 dollars and 86 cents for magikarp the illustration rare from Palair Evolved, and speaking of, Marl from Palair Evolved, it's creeping up to $20 out of nowhere. Marl is $17.59 at 64% on the one month. That is a all-time high, and look at that. It's a very obvious, very obvious all-time high. Marl, Palair Evolved, with that, uh, oh my god, look at that Bruxish. Look how sharp the Bruxish teeth is. Look at that. Look at those sharp. I never even realized that. Better look out, Clauncher. 
Nine tails from Obsidian Flames. Obsidian Flames. $17.35. That is an all-time high. That is 60% increase on the one month. Let's zoom all the way out. Looks very similar to the moral chart we were just looking at. It's a little more aggressive. Oh yeah, it is very similar to the moral chart. Yeah, look at that. Whoa. Uh, yeah, so, you know, you're coming up on $20 for uh, Obsidian Lames IR. That's pretty cool. Armor Rouge, I fully blame Dama on this. Dama let everyone know about the PSA 10 and what that's going for on this on this card. So, let's see. Dama's video was like two or three weeks ago. It was a $5 card. It's basically almost doubled in price since Dama blew, blew the cover on Armor Rouge. Silly Dama. He's a YouTuber. If you don't know who Dama is, check him out. Dama collects cards. He's a dirty ribbon chipper. All right, Squirtle. Okay, so now we're getting into the stamped promos. He's not a dirty. He's actually a very respectable ribbon chipper. Uh, Squirtle, this is the 151 uh, UPC pre-release. If you uh, reserved the 151 UPC, you got a little squirmel. squirmel. You got a little squirmel on the side. Little Squirtle, it's up to $92. That's a uh, 17% on the one month. Here's your one year chart. It hit a high of 92 and then it fell just right a little bit ago, right before the Snorlax exploded. Because once the Snorlax exploded and passed it up at $75, the next day the Squirtle started chasing the Snorlax. I remember, but yeah, so just not even that long ago, it was 75 and now it's and coming up on i mean it was that was that the all-time high yeah it's had a barely it's barely cracked it's all-time high for this squiddle there you go squiddle all right uh uh obsidian lames etb charmander just this uh, week after week after week after week I've talked about this card for like a month and a half straight I've talked about a lot of these stamped etb promos for a month and a half straight Wow, dude, some of these charts though look insane. Like you gotta admit, that's a little impressive to see 10 bucks in May. What were we all thinking in May, right? We were all clueless. We we're all like, hur, hur, hur. and then here's an $85 card. $85. This card was $10 in May. Charmander. $10 in May. $85. Now, Pika Pika from Paldea. Paldea of all Pikachu, $67. I can tell you right now that is an all-time high. Because look at these charts. These promo charts are all now promos. This could be, I'm not saying this is a bubble that's going to crash because this is a limited availability, um, you know, promo out of a hobby box. But man, the, the way they are all tracking, all simultaneously exploding, it definitely has um, the indications of a bubble. But even if it does crash, you're still going to see it. You know, you're still going to see these cards up egregiously in the future like a month from now two months from now compared to say three four five months from now what i'm saying is they might go down a little they're not going to go down anywhere near all the way these are the kind of cards that collectors love to collect like the hardcore collectors that are willing to spend a lot of money on psa 10 slabs they very comfortably drop that kind of money on stamps like that they just do when they have the reassurance of knowing it's a limited print run hobby box not a retail box yeah that's all they need to know okay so uh oh, some alt arts let's go oh shoot i went past lugia i haven't had lugia v alt art on hottest cards of the week i don't know if i've ever like ever ever like ever like ever but guess what i should have last week because lugia v Right now, uh, just a couple weeks ago, it's 175, 176, and it cracked over $200. It's up 20% on the one month, and it is $210 from Silver Tempest. Not a huge fan of Silver Tempest. I think it's very Lugia and a little Rayquaza heavy. Uh, not a lot, you know. Not a lot, you know. It's, but the card itself, that is, that is, that that's a face not to be messed with right there and it's upside down which is cool so yeah it's almost like a game of thrones you know dragon flying over somebody it's just very oh god that just scared the crap out of me 210 dollars lugia all right glaceon v max all these cute little cameos phoebus back there never knew there was a phoebus in the back left corner very interesting okay anyway uh so what do we got here 243 up from whoo 
two, uh, up from like 216 on the one month. I mean, it's up 11%. You look at the one year, you see the, the fizzle. Now you see the recovery here starting in uh, October, the middle of October. Hit a low of about 207. And, you know, we're now we're up to t almost 250. So it's one of the few sword and chill alt arts. They're not all tracking with each other. It's just like a handful of favorites over the past few weeks that have really recovered and established some new highs off that the uh, sword and shield bubble crash. Gengar, speaking of establishing new highs off the crash, Gengar's up to $400 right here and now. Raw, so there you go, up from 330 on the one month. Uh, one year, it had a high of 400. Its all-time high is 409. So that is, that is, uh, I don't even need to explain how well of a recovery that is. That is incredible. That completely recovered its entire bubble collapse. Completely. Gengar and Moonbrion have handled the the bubble and collapse so much better than all the other alt arts. Rayquaza kind of too, but mainly, definitely... Moonbrion and the slice of Moon Gendigar V Max. Okay, so how did Screamtail get over here? I think I was supposed to cover Screamtail a couple cards ago, but Screamtail is actually up as well. Screamtail is up 66% from 16 to 27 on the one month, up to $27.18. Okay, so the last three cards and the best deal banger. Uh, last week's best deal banger, by the way, was the Stellar Crown Pokemon Center ETP. It was the first time I ever used a sealed product as my best deal banger. Three days later, it sold out on the Pokemon Center. Hmm. I also made a video a couple weeks ago saying that the Twilight Masquerade and Stellar Crown Pokemon Center ETP are the single best product you can invest in right here and now from your couch. And they're all sold out now. Okay, so check this out. Goldango. EX. How much do we think this card is worth? 50 cents? A dollar? Well, apparently something really good happened in the TCG because this card is almost $10. Goldango EX. And I do not mean the SIR and I do not mean the full art. I am very specifically talking about specifically this double rare because the other two haven't budged at all. This card is up almost 300% on the one month and it went from $2 to $9.50. If you have this card, list it, sell it. I mean, if you're going to play and you're playing a Goldango deck, I, I guess play your Goldango deck. But if you're not, you got to be crazy not to sell this card. I, I'm gonna, as soon as I click in this video, I'm going to go find all my Goldangos, okay? I'm going to sell all them Goldangos. Get rich off Goldango. Secret Box. Secret Box A-Spec. This is also something must have happened because this card was a dollar a couple weeks ago. This card is now $5.50, and that's 340% increase on the one month. So, so Goldango EX, go find that and sell it. Secret box, probably got some extra of these. Find this, sell it. This is a $1 A spec. Get your five or six bucks for it. And then Danny Phantom actually brought this up. It's not why it's in this video, but when I found it, I remembered that Danny Phantom talked about it. And that's Pokestop from Pokemon Go. Apparently this card is very useful, very playable, and it is up, if you just look on the three month chart, it is up from $1.50 all the way to $3.50, which is 170% on the three month. It's up 33% on the one month. But yeah, so uh, this is a card I would never expect to go looking for, to go sell for a couple bucks. And you know, it's just a regular uncommon. You could probably find a bunch of them if you opened a lot of Pokemon Go. So yeah, Pokestop, go and sell that and sell it quick before rotation occurs until next year, I believe. Okay, and so the best deal banger, we're just gonna go right. It's the most logical next thing I could possibly suggest given what happened to the first two things I suggested. So for the second week ever, I am going to do a sealed product once again. And that is this guy right here, the Shredded Fumble Pokemon Center ETB. This is the only remaining uh, the Sword and Shield, you know, you know, Scarlet and Violet, this is the only remaining Scarlet and Violet era. Pokemon Center ETB still in stock. It is a logical no-brainer at this point, given what has happened to literally every single ETB. Someone's got to get in last. Somebody is going to get in last place. When you have things happen in order, there's always a first and there's a last. Of course, Shredded Fumble is last. That doesn't mean it's not still a fantastic investment from a reputable seller at market value. 
So for my money right here now, best deal banger is why not the shredded fumble Pokemon Center E T B. All right, there you go. All right, let's get into uh, last week's recap speed run, and then we are out of here until next week. All right, so leading off the recap speed run, we got Rayquaza VMAX Altar from Evolving Skies. Uh, it went sideways from 467 to 466. Giratina V Altar from Lost Origin went from 387 to uh, 392. So up just a little bit, basically still sideways. Pikachu EX SIR uh, from Surging, Splurging Sparks down to 427. It's actually up just a little, I think, to 430. Charizard EX SIR from 151 is right at 200, right there. Charizard EX SIR from Palladian Fates uh, down just a little from 143 last week down to 140. Walking Wake EX SIR from Temporal Forces. It's kind of moved sideways three weeks in a row, so I'm probably going to just knock it clean off the list right there. Groudon IR from Paradox Rift. <clears throat> sideways down just a little. It's right at 60 bucks. Squirtle IR. Stella Crown is uh, 39, so there, St Squirtle actually fell quite a lot. It went from 48 all the way down to 39. Whereas Bulbasaur from Stellar Crown only went from 42 to 39. So Squirtle fell a little harder. Bulbasaur has fell a little. Uh, Tyranitar IR from Pele Evolved. That is down just a little, basically sideways, 41 bucks. Pikachu Great Fell Hat, the world's dumbest card ever created, not because of the card or the artwork, but because of the way it was released and the irresponsibility behind it. Uh, sideways, it's at 176. Snorlax Pokemon Center ETB, it's sideways up uh, at 102 from 102. Umbreon VMAX Altar is down just a little from $1,388, almost $1,400, down to $1,366. Charizard V Altar from Brilliant Stars, sideways to $158, $160, still very high for that card uh, over the last year. That would be an all-time high. Or no, it wouldn't. That's, that's, it hit $199 back in April, so it's retracing. Uh, Greninja EX SIR from Twilight Masquerade down just a little to $317. Raging Bull EX SIR from Temporal Forces, the chase card from Temporal Forces, down just a little to 83. If bit IR from Twilight Masquerade sideways 56 to 56. Latios IR from Surging Sparks. It was 42, and when I made this last night, it dropped down to 37. I can tell you right now, just off the top of my head, that I know that it is actually back up to about $42. So Latios, ignore that. Latios is sideways, 42 to 42. Noctowl PCETB promo from 36 up just a little to 37. Mimikyu PCETB promo moved sideways from 40 bucks up huge last week to 40. It is sideways still at 40 right now. Maridon Pokemon Center ETB 41 to 41. Karidon Pokemon Center ETB 38. And actually I can tell you that this is up to about 40. This is actually not 38 to 38, is about 38 to 40. Petron, Petron PCETB 25 to 26, Iron Bundle 23 to 24, Teal Mask Ogre Pond 20 to 22. And last week, again, the best deal banger last week was the Stellar Crown Pokemon Center ETB, which is now sold out. You snooze, you lose. There you go. Um, I'm going to try to make at least two or three uploads this week. Uh, yeah, because I was just busy failing at Surging Sparks all week long. Uh, but yeah, uh, hope you guys have a great Black Friday and amazing Cyber Monday, and I will see you guys next week. Deuces.